Hey friends, welcome back to my studio. I'm gonna paint a rooster today on an 11 by 14 inch canvas from Michaels. Gallery wrapped and splined, I just love these. They're not sponsoring this video. The reference photo is a Creative Commons Zero, so that means you can use it on Pixabay. Isn't that fun? I own, I bought this typeface. I own a, a license to it, so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna put that on there too. Okay, let's jump in and have some fun. Let's chat about what's going on here. Where to start? Here, let's start here. So I'm thinking darker to lighter. I was thinking less swirly, but I was ended up swirling to push the paint into the canvas. I ended up drying it and putting more layers of paint on to get good coverage. Um, I'm not sure why. I did gesso this canvas with some clear gesso um, a couple days ago. Here, I'm gonna grab the gesso. Since I mentioned it, that's what it, lo that's what it looks like. Um, I don't know what's going on exactly. All right, we'll just move on from that. I do really like this though. I think it looks very pretty. And so I'm going thinking darker to lighter, but I'm also thinking a little lighter here and a little darker there because so if it's darker up here, this, these tail feathers will pop out. And then this is dark. So if I have it a little lighter over here, I'm gonna get a little more contrast. Don't have to think that much about it. That's just what I'm thinking. Oh, if you wanna know how to print out a larger traceable, this is, it printed out as four sheets of eight and a half by 11 paper that I cut out and taped together. Here, maybe you can see it a little bit better on this side. Oh, and I got it wet. <laughs> Um, on my traceable page, when you follow the link in any of my videos or on Facebook to single traceables, on that page there's a couple of links to how to do it. Okay, I want to use muted colors because I've been doing a lot of bright juicy colors lately. Oops, I need to, um, there we go, I had the wrong, I don't think that was showing anyway. So I'm also using up some Prussian blue, which is already a muted blue. Here's, there's Prussian blue. It's getting sticky and old, and then the tube's almost gone, so I'm gonna use that up. And then I've got Mars Black. They're all Liquitex Basics. Um, oh, I just forget the name of this one. Yellow Oxide. I really like that color. It's a convenience color. You could put a little brown in your yellow and see if that looks pretty close. And then I have red oxide. So that's right here, red oxide. And then with the yellow and the red oxide and some black, I made a brownish color. And then I don't have it on my palette yet, but I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna want the comb and the wattle to pop. So I've got some cadmium red medium that I'm gonna put out eventually. Okay guys, I'm gonna let this dry before I put the traceable on and then I'll be back in a bit.
Okay, I thought I'd pop in for a minute and let you know that I added cadmium red medium. Oops, sorry, I've got my phone really close to my canvas. Look how big my thumb is. <laughs> uh, to my palette. And I'm pretty much just gonna use it up in here, I think. And I have quite a few values. I just, you know, I painted the shape and then I kind of added a lighter area. Um, got the eye pretty much in, the beak's pretty much in. I, I don't like that there's a solid line right there, so I'll probably adjust that. And I think I wanna make that brighter. But you know, in general, it could be done, just depending, I'm gonna move my palette here. See if I can get it closer, just depending on what you want. Let's see, if I move it closer, I don't know if it'll focus on that eye. I can't tell if it is. You can start anywhere on the rooster. I just, for some reason, decided to start there. This is, gosh, a couple days later. I had stuff happen. I was working down at the gallery. So I think now I'm going to paint in some bigger strokes, which will be fun. I'm going to grab my iPad here. Hang on, guys. So I had it zoomed in on the face. Maybe you want to see that. Oh, getting a little glare. So it's not exact by any stretch of the imagination, but it's definitely close enough. And then I can get it closer, more detail. Whoop, we'll make it closer. I might um, paint some of the white tail feathers next. Maybe some of the body and just work on that. And then maybe like the neck and back last because those feathers come over. Oops, sorry. I'm so close to my phone. Okay, I just wanted to pop in and let you know I added a color and what I'm up to. I'll be back in a bit. I forgot to tell you my brushes. I know some of you guys like that. I'm using a number 12 flat brush from Royal and Lane Nickel. Um, I use that for some of the bigger strokes. I'm pretty sure it's a half inch. If not, it's a three eighths. Let's check. It's how oh, it's in between. I'd say it's closer to a half inch. And then I'm also using a number one round select from Princeton. Oh, and there's freckles. Okay guys, now I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, I thought I'd pop in and chat for a minute. Um, it's pretty, I'm just finding indication of feathers, colors. I think these will be a lot lighter, but I also want some dark to put the light on top of. Um, oh, I don't have my, um, my photo open. Let's do that quick. Because those on this on the reference photos, those tail feathers and some of the side feathers are white, white, white. They're blown out. So I'm going darker for sure to start with. I was using a oh, where is it? Three quarter inch, nineteen millimeter Royal and Langnickel brush, Sir Zenline. It's a really nice brush, and you can get it to a nice point. I don't know if you can see that. I need to get it's drying out, so it's starting to fuzz a little let's see if I do that you can get it nice and sharp there you can kind of see it but it also holds a really nice amount of paint which could be super helpful but the way I'm painting at least today and the way I paint in general is a lot of times I'll mix a puddle and then my brush gets too loaded with paint so I have a three-quarter inch craft brush from Michaels craft smart and it's much thinner so it doesn't hold as much paint, so then I can hold a better edge or point. Really is, isn't the brush, it's me. Just so you guys know. It's kind of like my cloud video where I paint clouds with a whole bunch of different, oh, you can kind of see the top of it right up there. 
this is a little peek at the clouds that I painted. Um, it's the clouds are in the artist, not the brush. But sometimes a brush just drives you a little crazy, so I switched. And I'm just finding shapes and sections as I go. I think that's about all I need to comment on. I don't know if you want to see. I mixed, oh, it's not really a purple, but I mixed some of the Prussian blue with the cadmium red. I think it's hue. I don't think it's medium hue. Cadmium red, medium. Um, it's opaque, so it has a little bit of white in it. Or a little something in it. Anyway, um, kind of makes some kind of purpley wine colors, which go really well in here. And matches the photo quite well you see that okay so I'm I'm just wanting thinner paint for the first layer um, that's about it really okay guys I'll be back in a bit Okay, this is the next day. Um, you could say this is done, but I definitely, I want to, like this piece is kind of flat right here. I'm gonna add some white. Um, I wanna play with maybe making this a little more, less flat, give me a little more shape. I'm gonna put some white feathers here, but you could totally say it's done and just put the word rooster on there, which I'll do at the end. So I just wanted to pop in because I don't know exactly where I left off. Some of this is pretty refined looking. I'm liking how that looks. Yeah, I think I want some more white here. Anyway, I just wanted to pop in with a couple of comments and I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, I'm done. Um, I like the lettering on here. I license my art on things like garden flags, puzzles, ornaments. And so on a garden flag, you might have the word welcome. So lettering isn't all that unusual to me. So I think that's fun. I made it different shades of bluish gray. Here, we'll take a tour in a second. Um, I used a number one round brush. I didn't show much of it on the time lapse because I needed to get, so the camera's to my left and in front of me sometimes, and I didn't want to paint around the camera. I wanted to thin out my paint, so I added a little bit more black and some blue to make a blue or gray than that blue that I used earlier, and I used a number one round from Princeton, and I thinned out the paint with some water so it flows nice and nice and smooth but I also put it in front of me um, within reading distance so I could see it better what else I think that's about it I, I put my initials down here okay let's I'm gonna move my palette and we'll do a little tour I put some thick actually I thought of something else 
I went down in a brush size to a 3 8 inch flat brush from Royal and Langnickel. Number 12, it's their Zen line. Just to get a little more control, a little smaller brush strokes. And I put in some pretty thick brush strokes. I don't know if you can see them. Some white here. That's fun. I like, oh, I thought of something else. <laughs> So I have more, a little bit sharper detail up here. Of course the word, the red pulls you up. There's, there's more color up here. And then I have softer, less value changes here. Cause the interest, I want to keep the interest up here. And you could, you could have it more crisp down here and have the values change more against the background rather than almost lose the edge. Um, you could say that's overthinking cause it's just a portrait or a rooster, but I thought that's kind of fun. Kind of lose some edges, kind of have it softer down here. Okay, tour. Let's see if I can do this. Because I'm going to hit the top of my art table. <laughs> I suppose I should have moved my camera back a little bit. Here, let's just do the words. So I, I varied the value and the color slightly in the words just for fun. Make it look a little more painterly. I have purchased the license to that font so that I can use it for licensing. And I just, oh, I used the traceable to transfer it back on there. There's the face. You don't have to put the white in the neck area here. I just like the value change. Kind of has some bluish grayish on the front. Here's the softer area I was talking about right over here. Hopefully, I'm sorry about all the wiggling. Uh, my phone is quite close to my canvas. I really need another camera so you can see how I'm leaning over. <laughs> Probably looks pretty funny. And I did paint just a little bit, a few feathers on the side. It's a great reference photo. Let me know if you give that one a try. It's really fun to hang out with you guys. I, I, I appreciate it so much. Great big happy art hugs and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye guys.